hookah hookah tobacco today. And this is my first time smoking hookah hookah tobacco. But actually the company, Sahara Smoke, I believe is the parent company over hookah hookah tobacco. And they are based in Georgia. So I want to show a local Georgia company some love and try out their tobacco today. And this is, like I said, my first time. So this will not be an in-depth review of the tobacco itself or the flavor, but kind of just my overview and my initial thoughts of hookah hookah tobacco and uh, ginger ale and peach. Uh, the setup today is my KM Kamanja tap water in the base using the Thunder Hose as always. Have the Goodfellow V3 and the Cloud Lotus with three titanium cubes and the vents are closed. I have this kind of fluff pack, but this is a very, very finely chopped tobacco. So it's just nice and even and consistent around. It basically looks like a dead pack, but it's pretty fluffed in there. I didn't pat it down or anything. And so the box of this comes, and let's start with that. So it says ginger ale peach on here. It's hookah hookah tobacco. Um, it says it's a long cut shisha. I don't know what that means because it's the finest chopped shisha I've seen in a long time. Uh, the packaging is really nice. It's a die cut box, embossed, very, very nice box. A lot of attention to detail in this little 50 gram box. Comes in a standard vac sealed bag. And let's start with the smell. So the smell on this, it's a very sweet smell. I definitely smell some sort of ginger in there, and I don't know exactly if the ginger is going to translate to the smoke, but it's, it's some sort of ginger in there. And I'm getting a mild peach in the background. So, let's try it out. How does it translate to the smoke? So for this flavor, uh, ginger ale and peach, I'm getting a candied ginger, almost like the candy ginger you get when you order sushi, that like orangey salmon color stuff. So it's really interesting. Um, I haven't really had a lot of flavors that have that candy ginger taste. I know a lot of companies now are coming out with a fresh ginger in terms of teas and things like that. This is a candy ginger, which is very different for me. And the peach is just right there complimenting it. It kind of reminds me of a peach Sprite. I actually really like peach Sprite. I don't drink soda at all. But when I do decide to venture out and drink some soda, peach Sprite is my drink of choice. So it's kind of reminiscent of peach Sprite, which is really cool. And so far, uh, hookah hookah tobacco, it's pretty nice. It takes heat uh, pretty well. Like I said, I'm only using the Lotus today. But it's performing just like a lot of other shishas would. I can kind of load on the heat. I'm not really having to calm it down at all, which is nice. Cloud output on this is pretty fair. I'll take a few hits for you guys. As you can see, I'm blowing pretty big clouds, so that's always a good sign. And this is a, uh, I guess, a Virginia leaf tobacco, and it is says it's flu cured. I guess there's different ways of curing tobacco. So this is flu cured. If any of you guys know anything about tobacco and how you cure it, and that's interesting to you, then maybe that means something, but it doesn't really mean anything to me. All I know is that it smokes very well. And I would definitely say that the flavor strength on this complements the type of flavor it is. I think if, if the flavor strength was any stronger, it would come off as overwhelming and just heavy in the chest and just overly sweet. I like that the flavor strength is very mild and complements that candy ginger and candy peach flavor. It makes this a refreshing and light and enjoyable smoke. Um, I've been smoking for about 30 minutes now and it's pretty. It's held its flavor strength pretty well so far so I like that. But overall, uh, hookah hookah tobacco, uh, my first impression is this is pretty good. I'm surprised I haven't tried this sooner. And I like that it's just not too heavy, not really heavy on the chest. It's a very nice light smoke, but the flavor is there enough where you can enjoy it and taste it. So yeah, it's pretty good. And ginger ale peach, it's a nice combination. I actually really like this flavor. This is something I would probably pick up a larger quantity of and test it and try it out even further. But yeah, so far that's my thoughts on hookah hookah tobacco. Um, if you guys want to see up close of what it looks like, as you can see, I don't know how well this zooms in. It won't zoom in, but whatever. Um, as you can see, it's very finely chopped and it's, like I said, dark in color, pretty juicy in here. But yeah. Overall, uh, pretty good so far. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I look forward to trying out more of this stuff. Bye, guys. So I've been smoking for a little over 50 minutes now, and I want to give you guys an update on what's going on. Let me take a few hits first. Smoke output is still very nice. So uh, even towards the end of the session, smoke output is perfect. The flavor shank, though, the flavor has died down a lot. I'm getting very little peach at this point and more of kind of an awkward candy ginger like aftertaste which is not very pleasant. So I'm assuming this is going to be one of those tobaccos where um, the smoke and the actual session uh, outlasts the actual flavor itself. So at this point I'd probably pack a new bowl which is a little disappointing. I was hoping to get a little more flavor longevity out of this as I was enjoying the uh, ginger ale and peach flavor. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.